Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Soccer. I'm with us, head coach Greg Henson. And coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Obviously a nice weekend uh, for your team. Back-to-back -back home wins uh, here this past weekend over Wisconsin Parkside, Purdue Northwest, and a couple well-played games for your team. Yeah, it was good for us to get back home. We, we had on the road the week before and uh, just to kind of get back into the swing of things. And I, really one of the focuses for us this week was just getting back into um, you know, our attacking identity and, and we wanted to, to move the ball well and, and create some scoring opportunities and obviously from the score lines we were successful in that endeavor. Obviously you took on two teams where on paper uh, you were the favorite coming in but uh, you still have to go out there have to perform and, uh, and have to execute. Yeah and every team in this league is difficult and, and, and a good team and, and it's not a situation where it's really just kind of a team you can just walk up and show up and, and roll over and, and that was really kind of the focus. We wanted to make sure we had a good strong start to both games. Um, and kind of put to bed, you know, the, the, their belief that they could maybe get a result or get get some points out of the game. And and sometimes teams like that can be dangerous. You know, they get a little bit of belief, and the longer you leave them in the game, the more more dangerous they get. So we really wanted to have that strong start to each match, and 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 by getting goals early, um, kind of remind them, hey, this is how it's going to end up. And I thought we did a nice job with that this week. Here we go with the highlights first. Uh, Wisconsin Parkside on uh, Friday, and uh, obviously beautiful weather conditions, and get off to a great start. Yeah, I think this is one of the best weekends we've had all season, you know, in terms of, of weather and, uh, you know, blue skies, uh, sunshine, and, and it was great. And so we got off to a good start, like I said earlier, and, and able to get some goals early. And uh, Tia Van Silicon gets, uh, gets the first one for us here and, and uh, a little fortunate with the, with the goalkeeper's uh, play there. But uh, a goal nonetheless, and, and we're off to, to a good start and, uh, and really just kind of continue that. And uh, probably the only, the only negative or takeaway that, you know, from us to, to continue to learn through is, Jumped off to a 3 nothing lead and then, and then concede a goal um, just before the halftime break. It kind of took our foot off the gas and a little bit of a, a mental lapse there. So um, other than that, though, pretty, uh, pretty good performance all the way around uh, for the weekend and able to get a lot of players in the match on Sunday as well. Obviously got off to that great start. Uh, three goals in the first 22 minutes. And uh, how important is that to get off to a quick start in a conference match? Yeah, like I said earlier, it's just, it's just important to be able to get, get kind of that flow going. Um, and one of the things that, that we're continuing to work on is uh, as a team is just continuing to, to move and go forward. And, and we've scored goals in bunches a lot this season where we've gotten two, three goals in quick succession. Um, and, uh, and that's been a, kind of a hallmark of our season. And unfortunately, we get to that magic three number and we kind of think the game's over and we step off the gas and, and, uh, and, and make some mistakes uh, from a mentality standpoint. So I thought we did a much better job of that uh, on Sunday and, and going ahead and closing out the game. And, and, and uh, so then we look forward to uh, look to do as we move forward on the, on the year. Maybe talk about the play of the back end. Uh, obviously, Allison Chesterfield in net for you, and uh, talk about her performance and, and the players in front of her. Yeah, so uh, you know, Allison uh, got the start in both games this weekend. Uh, she's been doing a great job for us all season, and uh, and for our goalkeepers, it's been, a, been one of those situations where it's really a tough to, uh, task for them, and that they don't get a lot of action, and so they're called upon to make one, two, three saves a game. Um, and sometimes that can be more difficult than being on the other end of it where you're kind of getting shelled. So um, she did a great job uh, holding, holding the serve back there. Um, and then uh, on top of that, you know, the back line, the back four, um, back five, if you count uh, Bree Rogers that are holding mid, do a great job of really kind of keeping our goalkeepers. Um, our goal is to keep them bored throughout the course of the match. So. Obviously a 4-1 win uh, as you opened up the weekend with a big victory and then you came back on Sunday and uh, celebrating senior day, seven seniors, maybe, maybe talk about what they've meant. Yeah, they, they've been a lot to this program over the years, and I think that's indicative of, you know, we had the, the junior class kind of write uh, a message to them for, for the senior day stuff and what the, what the seniors mean to them um, individually for, for the program, and I thought that was a, a nice gesture there. Um, and they've been a great class, uh, and for me, coming as a new coach, sometimes as a senior, you get a new coach coming in, there's going to be some changes and, and, and things of that nature um, for senior year, and that can be, be a tough deal, but they've really embraced the changes that I wanted to incorporate. Um, and then done a great job of being being leaders and leading by example. Um, and it's a group that we're going to miss uh, when when uh, when everything's all said and done. But hopefully we can keep them around for a little bit longer as we head towards playoffs. Playing Purdue Northwest uh, here on Senior Day and uh, again got off to a good start. And the, the seniors really factored well uh, here into this contest. Yeah, Allison just really got the start again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Grace Kraft's been nursing a little bit of an injury, so we weren't able to use her in, in, in the game on Sunday. Um, Maddie Fouts in the starting lineup. Tia Van Silicon's having a great season for us. Uh, Brandy Wagner came in off the bench. Morgan Irwin came in the second half and, and did well for us as well. So top to bottom, you know, um, able to utilize them. And, and today was, or Sunday was a good uh, opportunity for us to really go deep into our bench um, and, uh, and, and had some really good showings from some of our younger players. Uh, and some of the players that maybe don't get a lot of minutes a lot. And Sadie Pettinger is one of those. She got her first collegiate goal on Sunday. 
uh, to, uh, to cap things off with the, with the final goal of the game. But uh, uh, all in all, just a great day for uh, to honor the seniors. Um, did so both po pre-game and post-game, and, and, uh, and really excited for them. And like I said, hopefully we can keep them on the field for a little bit longer as we head to the playoff season. Pianago with the goal right there gives you a four to nothing lead at halftime. Again, a great start, three goals in the first 14 minutes, and uh, didn't take your foot off the gas here as you came back uh, with a strong second half as well. Yeah, we put the starters back out for the second half and wanted to really kind of just uh, challenge them, gave them a little bit of a challenge uh, for the beginning of the second half, and told them they would have a maximum of 15 minutes uh, uh, in the second half to play. And, and and I thought they came out and really executed some things that we wanted to work on going into this weekend. So we used it as, a, as an opportunity to kind of. Um, get them uh, back on uh, on the right foot and, and where we want them to be heading into the next week, and um, and then told them we were going to go to the bench and, and give a lot of players some minutes. And I thought overall uh, that went well. Uh, scored two early, make it six nothing, and then like I said, got Sadie's goal late in the match. So uh, all in all, it was a good day for us, able to get a couple of our younger goalkeepers some minutes, and um, you know look to the future there a little bit with uh, uh, Christina Tabor and uh, Taryn Meisty uh, getting some minutes at the end of the game. 7 nothing the final uh, on senior day and always nice to, to send your seniors off on senior day with a with a big win. Yeah, I think it's it's something you'll see, you know, uh, especially on the women's side a little bit. Senior day means a lot and it means a lot to the players both uh, the seniors and the underclassmen. They all want to perform well. Um, you know, we want to honor the seniors and I tell the team all the time it's you know, we'll do the festivities before game, we'll do stuff after the game, um, but you really honor your senior class by winning the match. And so that was really a, a big uh, Big, t big point for us, and uh, I thought overall, top to bottom, thought the roster everybody showed up to ready to go on Sunday. Four games left here in the regular season, 11, 2, and 1 on the year, and uh, obviously four uh, tough games uh, here going down the stretch, uh, starting with Davenport and Grand Valley this weekend. Yeah, rematch with Davenport. We played them in the non conference schedule uh, this year, so we're going to go down there this time for, for an important conference game, so that's going to be tough. That's kind of the trap game. You know, uh, they're a good program, a good team. I don't think the score line was indicative of, of really how tough of a match that's going to be for us uh, this time around. And then Grand Valley waiting for us on Sunday. Um, and so really the message with the team this week is one game at a time. Make sure that we have uh, we take care of business on Friday. Um, all the goals that we set ourselves are still obtainable right now in the season. And, uh, and so we just got to go out and do one game at a time, take care of Davenport on Friday, and then we'll worry about Grand Valley on Saturday. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us. Congratulations on the weekend, and best of luck as you travel uh, down to the Grand Rapids area this weekend. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.